Hey guys, it is me, Hepisaric, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So, season 17 continues, and I wanted to show for you that here we go, we've gotten this triumph decoration. Except this decoration has a purpose, you can store here your decorations. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we go, let's take the lamp into my inventory, let's take this plant into the inventory. The big one's head goes into the inventory. And check this out, now we can open up this triumph thing, the triumph storage, we drop everything. Oh, we can't even store the big one's head here. But you got the point, you can store store most of your decorations here so it's not as useful as a warehouse for example because as you can see in the warehouse you can store lots of and lots of resources but that triumph storage doesn't really store anything much just a couple of decorations well in my opinion it's better than nothing but i'm still gonna keep all of my decorations outside because i still have enough space in the base i do know that there are a few people that don't have enough space in the base and they are gonna appreciate this triumph storage but it doesn't really have that much space as you can see your chest has more space so probably you'd be better off just storing that stuff in the chest unless you already have a maximum amount of chests. And speaking of decorations and warehouses, boom, I found out that it's possible to buy a warehouse if you don't have a warehouse. So if you have a warehouse, this option is not going to be available in the shop, but if you don't have a warehouse, it looks like you can buy a warehouse. I don't really know how I feel about that because people had to grind for their own warehouse, but we can't have a second warehouse, so you can still only have one warehouse. I guess, hey, that's cool, but why can't I get the second warehouse? I don't understand that. That's a bit unfair. But at the same time who cares halloween is coming and we have this awesome jack-o-lantern skin and you could get it from the gas station it's pretty easy all you need is just 750 of those special alloys so make sure to get that bike pattern from over here if you still don't have it and here go we are at this echo site location and now we can talk to all of these mercenaries because for those who don't know these are mercenaries kinda sort of. So it still looks like we'll be able to get more mercenaries. Probably the further we go, the more some sort of stores we'll be able to unlock and more mercenaries we'll get. For example, I have this William Mercenary that gives you one of the three buffs for 30 seconds. Activates during defense. We don't really know what buffs those are, but you can get some sort of buffs. And to hire these mercenaries, you need to pay zombie crystals. Currently, for me, these zombie crystals are a bottleneck. I don't really know how it's like for other players, but I don't really have a lot of zombie crystals. Again, I do know that it's possible to just go and clear entire bottleneck alpha you can go clear like that laboratory and you're gonna get an insane amount of zombie crystals so if you have a lot of these zombie crystals maybe it is worth it to go and hire these mercenaries and check this out this is another mercenary alex and her buff is significantly amplifies turrets output for 15 seconds activates during defense and it costs 75 zombie crystals and then there's captain protects extractors from damage for 15 seconds activates during defense and the dude costs 50 zombie crystals and the most fun part is that they are referring back to like like season three and the guy says it's not fort must but so yeah i'm kind of happy that they're bringing some older characters from maybe other seasons and they're talking about some previous things that happened in the game like fort must so now let's go let's check out all of these mercenaries let's hire william let's get him let's go over here we're gonna start an easy wave here even though again when you're doing easy waves here on level two refinery you don't even need anybody's help oh, i forgot oh no i did actually take some melee weapons and here go over here you can activate his buff Let's actually activate his buff right now. And what is the buff? Increases your movement speed. Alrighty, so this is how I'm walking. Am I faster? Maybe I am a little bit faster. But this is kind of my strategy. That's how I'm doing. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, it doesn't take a big brain to realize that I just place a couple of spikes to protect your turrets. Because some people don't even place spike traps. But again, when your turrets get... Oops, I got stuck. When your turrets get destroyed, they're harder to repair than spike traps. And you don't really need an insane amount of turrets. I mean, a couple of melee weapons ain't gonna hurt anybody. So I come closer to these spike traps and I just try to fight these simple zombies with melee weapons and turrets do most of the work. Wait, I'm gonna go and protect that turret from it dying. Here goes Sayonara. And I'm pretty sure that's it, Hugo. We got 250 points. So that buff from William was pretty useless. I seriously wouldn't pay him 25 of those zombie crystals. It makes no sense. And also, I have another tip and trick for you. I'm not 100% certain, but be very careful. As soon as these squirrels are going to be available in the game, maybe in like week two or week whatever, I don't even know if this season is going to have like any weekly content. But as soon as these squirrels are available, do not upgrade your refinery to level three. Because who knows, maybe on level three refinery, there will be many more zombies spawning and it's 
not going to be that easy to defend those waves because currently defending these waves on level 2 is extremely easy. You don't even require that insane amount of turrets. You can actually build less turrets if you don't have resources to build these turrets. But a level 2 is quite easy, but who knows? Maybe level 3 is going to be extremely hard and then you won't be able to go back to level 2 refinery. So when coils come out, I'm definitely going to let you know if it's worth it to craft refinery level 3 or not. I'm going to make some videos on it. I'm probably going to make some live streams on it. So you make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss those videos and live streams. But now we're going to continue checking out our mercenary. So let's talk to Captain. I mean, it's kind of obvious it's going to protect our extractors for 15 seconds. I'm still going to hire him just here for the memes. But I don't think it's it's worth it. I mean, we don't really need it. It's not like these zombies are destroying my extractors anyways. And it doesn't really look like you can hire two mercenaries at the same time. But hey, let's go over here. Let's start another easy wave. Alrighty, so we are waiting here now for the zombies to attack us. Just as always, I'm staying here with my melee weapon. Just attacking these zombies. It works for me. This strategy works perfectly for me. So I don't have problems with using a couple of melee weapons here. Again, some people don't even use melee weapons. They're just going to stand and look, which... I think why not use a couple of your melee weapons? Melee weapons aren't really that expensive. Everybody should have them. And alrighty, let's activate this buff. Is something going on? Protects uh, extractors from damage. I completely forgotten that we should activate the buff. So these are like mercenaries, but they're more like just buffs and that's it rather than mercenaries. So they protected the turret, but nothing really happened anyway. So yeah, as I said, that mercenary guy, Captain, is pretty useless. And one of my thorns here got destroyed. And for those who do not know, these thorns have some sort of health and each wave when zombies attack these thorns, these thorns lose some health and we don't really know how much health they have. So that's kind of sad. I wish it was possible when you click on it to see how much health they got. So this way I know either I have to demolish it or repair it because maybe sometimes they're going to have like only 10% of health and as soon as the wave spawns, the zombie's going to attack it once and boom. And the thorn trap just disappears and what am I supposed to do with that? But it, it is what it is. Even if zombies destroy those thorns, it's still not that expensive. Just use your body as the meat shield. <laughs> now let's uh, hire Alex because she's kind of useful, I would say. She increases the the turret output for 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure turrets do instead of four damage, they will do eight damage. All right, let's go over here and don't forget to activate it. It's in the on the right side here. Like there's this amplifier close to your weapons. So let's stay over here. As soon as more zombies spawn, I'm gonna activate the turrets here because they last for 15 seconds. And the first wave of zombies here is quite easy. So let's wait for the second wave of zombies. Here go, more of them are coming in. I'm gonna activate the turret thingy. It says that here go, amplify for 15 seconds. And as you can see, these turrets are doing now a lot of damage. These spore spreaders. I don't even maybe have to use my melee weapons here right now. These turrets are just gonna shred them. All right, the turret buff is gonna last for four extra seconds, two seconds, and that's it, it's done. Maybe I should have activated this buff on the third wave, not on the second wave, but it's still quite easy. All right, they destroyed another spike trap, and that's it, just like that, we were able to deal with the wave again. I am kind of sad to see that these mercenaries are not as cool mercenaries as mercenaries in the past. Because in the past, we could hire mercenaries. They could go with us to whatever locations. They could help us, like, clear Bunker Alpha or whatever. But hey, don't they don't exist anymore. That's kind of sad. So here, I'm going to remove the thorns. I'm going to place another thorn trap. So just for the sake of memes and entertainment, I'm going to go and do a hard wave right now. But hey, first of all, let's replace these thorns because hard waves are a bit harder. And I'd love to have brand new thorns here. So hey, let's do lead them. As I said, they're not really that expensive. So I'm going to replace my thorns. Let's go. And as I said, hard mode is just not worth it. But I am kind of interested to see what kind of zombies here are going to spawn because exploding floater bloaters joined the attack. So I'm interested to see that. And dangerous zombies with a stun attack. Here we go. So lots of zombies, lots of weird zombies are going to spawn. Let's go here. I have my AK. Actually, yeah, I have AK. I have a spread shot. So let's see how it works because obviously I'll have to use here lots of guns, I assume. I assume. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? All right. Some of the zombies sometimes can go through these thorns or maybe they just go through the grass. I know it doesn't matter. Well, so far it's easy. They're attacking something. Someone's... Wait, what's going on? This turret is attacking something. That's weird. That's weird. That's not how it's supposed to be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, they already destroyed these thorns. Let's get an AK. Here, there's an exploder. Exploder destroyed thorns. This is annoying. This is annoying. That's why I'm saying hard mode is not worth it. They're gonna destroy my turrets I did not sign up for that. I just realized that my turrets are getting destroyed as well Unless these exploders. Oh, no, they're already destroying these extractors. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me Let's get another AK Let's deal with that. And ex you can't do anything with the exploder. Exploder just explodes You can't even prevent exploder from exploding. We were able to deal with this wave, but it's useless 
I'm telling you, peeps. Hard mode is so bad. Hard mode is so bad. We don't get any extra rewards for that. Which is, I mean, it's kind of fun, you know, to occasionally go and do that hard mode. But yikes. And I don't think I even mentioned that. But just in case for those who don't know how to unlock your mercenaries. When you will go to the factory that has spawned on the map, there will be William locked in a locker. You give him two beans. And then when you get back to the base, Captain is going to be here. And then Alex's workshop event is going to spawn. Well, at least that's what happened for me. So I didn't really have to do a lot. And I would like to ask you now on what level level are you here in the season pass because it looks like so far this is one of the easiest seasons that i've seen and a lot of people are happy about it like a lot of beginner players a lot of mid-tier players and even higher level players like everybody's happy about this season you do get some decent rewards but i'm mostly happy about the contraband tab here here go we have 1100 points so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get the 300 caps i'm gonna get the uzi and I don't really need anything else just for the sake of memes and giggles and hopefully for the nice loot as well. Let's open up a couple of these unknown boxes. I wish that these unknown boxes look different. Like seriously. Alrighty, we've gotten here the reanimator. So that means if you die, you're not gonna die. You will actually stay back on the same spot. Your guy is just gonna use that reanimator and you'll go back to full health. And yeah, speaking again about those unknown boxes, I really would prefer if they looked completely different. All right, we got some more aluminum plates because right now they just look like those free boxes from the shop. So they don't really look that great. But if this looked like some sort of a brand new crate, like awesome crate or whatever, I'd love that. I'd prefer that it just looked different. In my opinion, that'd look more cool. All right, we got some gunpowder. So not all of the rewards are awesome. Most of the time I get garbage. We get some lead plates. And you know what? Yesterday, during the live stream, one of the viewers named Kuroshi told me that these lead plates are really awesome. Because finally, he was able to get enough lead plates to assemble a terminal in Bunker Bravo. And with that terminal, you can get two gas cylinders instead of one. That terminal opens up like a secret lock or something. And it's pretty hard to get lead plates because you need to recycle a bunch of car batteries. But you need those car batteries for your ATV. Plus, you don't really get lots of car batteries. And even when you recycle them, you don't get guaranteed lead plates so getting lead plates during this season is awesome as well because that thing is gonna just speed up the progress of your getting of your atv so it's not that bad getting lead plates is awesome a lot of people are gonna be happy about those lead plates here we got some more gunpowder and i haven't gotten any titanium i haven't gotten any purple cards i've seen a lot of people saying that they have gotten purple cards but not me why not me why not me why not just give me at least 600 reasons why not me we got some doggo food hey that's cool i guess but that's pretty much it we used all of the chewing gum ore. And now, welcome to a raid. It looks like this is going to be a pretty nice raid. So inside of the chopper, we're already going to get a Winchester. And if that's not awesome, I don't know it is awesome. So that chopper had lots of gasoline. But again, I didn't bring any empty bottles with me. So probably we're just going to leave that gasoline there. But again, we didn't come for the gasoline. We came for this loot here. So let's drop a C4. Again, I haven't done like lots of research. So I don't really know each chest, what chest is going to give what loot. All I know is that the loot is going to be pretty decent. And uh, I only required one C4 to enter it. That's most of my research. That's all I do. And for those who do not know how to do research, just go on YouTube, type elderly raid player 1234 or whatever base that you are raiding. And you're going to get your research there. Alrighty, so maybe I'll be able to assemble like an entire SWAT set later on. Wait, there's a zombie here. Get out of here. Alrighty, so goodbye, floater bloater. I'm going to get some more healing items. We could craft another bandage with those pieces of cloth, but you make noise when you craft stuff during the raid. So don't craft stuff during the raid. So here, go. let's start opening up these chests. I'm quite certain we'll be able to open up all of these chests, even with the big one. Alrighty, we got another SWAT body armor. Don't need that. We got some orange and green tickets. We have a lot of those tickets at the base already because every time I clear Bunker Alpha, I get like those orange and green tickets. So I already have like hundreds, maybe even thousands of them at the base. So why do I need more? Here you go. We got some guns. That is pretty sick. So here we can get a helmet. So we already got an entire SWAT armor. So probably I'm just going to get back to my chopper. I'm going to fill up the chopper with some epic loot. I'm going to drop this entire SWAT armor. I'll drop some guns, stack of first aid kits. So just the beginning of this raid is already great, but I'm pretty certain we still can get some more items in some other chests. Here go. Let's bring the rest of the guns. I'm still going to take like half of this SWAT set. I mean, it's almost an entire full SWAT set. We just don't have the helmet. I'll take the red ticket because actually red tickets are much more important than orange tickets. I'd prefer to take one red ticket than probably 400 orange tickets. Uh, seriously, orange tickets are useless. Once you have a lot of them, they're useless. And once you keep clearing Bunker Alpha regularly, they're quite useless. But red tickets, on the other hand, are quite rare. Unless you're gonna keep clearing Bunker Alpha like completely efficiently all the 
time every two days, then yes, it looks like you'll have enough of the red tickets, but I don't clear bunker alpha every two days. So red tickets for the win. I need more red tickets. Here go. Let's open up another chest. Inside of this chest, we can get just this uh, football helmet, which is kind of cool, but I already have maybe five or ten football helmets at the base. I used to pick them up, so I stopped picking them up because why? We got a stack of white paint, which is kind of rare. So let's get that stack of white paint. I'm going to get a stack of water because it doesn't really look like I've gotten anything else in these other chests. So as soon as I get better loot, we're going to get rid of the water there. Uh, helmet, perhaps, or something. No, just some hatchets. Alrighty, maybe I'm gonna take those hatchets a bit later. Obviously, a bunch of chopper wheels that we could give at the gas station, but I don't really need more chopper wheels. We already have them at the base, so nothing in useful in that chest. Here you go. After we chop down this chest, I'm pretty sure a wave of zombies is gonna spawn. And inside of this chest, here you go, we're gonna get some guns. Actually, one gun, more healing items, more katanas. That's beautiful. And let's deal with the wave of zombies with the snap transition. I haven't done that in a long time. Well, it was quite nice to use a snap transition. As I said, haven't used it in quite a while. So somehow, some way we can bring all of these katanas. Maybe let's change them for... Oh, this katana is broken. Don't even need it. All right, let's get some full durability hatchets because why not? Let's get them. Let's open up a couple of other racks. Actually, these are just trunks, not racks. Let's open up this. We got some extra hatchets. All righty, that's lovely. That is lovely. Let's open up this chest. Here we got a bunch of bricks. Here go. Let's hit this three times. Let's hit this chest twice, probably. And I know that we could die. We could spawn back at the base to bring some extra loot. But honestly, uh, there's nothing really that I need to take from this base. I'm ready to sacrifice a couple of these hatchets here. I'm also going to drop half of this armor. Oh, no. Maybe let's even bring that armor. Whatever. Let's open up this chest. Here go. Let's open up here. We got... Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Nothing really useful. And let's open up this chest. Heal! And here we got a helmet. Heal up. Let's get that helmet. And I think we can skedaddle. There's nothing really else that I can take. Probably like some miscellaneous like healing item here and there, but doesn't matter. So this base gets science approval. Really decent raid. So I highly suggest you checking out this video where I rated seven bases or click on the second card and you'll go to the brand new The Long Dark series. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.